I think that um, Dane's played pretty well at full back and um, I'd like to give him an opportunity to, you know, uh, to have another go at it. And I think that Israel, first game back in, just a slightly different look. He's had a couple of games out and uh, set a few things up for him in that position and see how we go. He got into some contact work and he got knocked about a little bit. So in a, in a short session, but he, no one knows himself better than, than David. So yeah, he's, he's declaring himself ready to go, which is good. Yeah, he got back last night and give him a chance to get his head around it. And also the other two fellas did pretty well, I think, the week before. Um, and, you know, I think he'd be on a bit of a high with, with the birth of his child. So give him the chance to rip into it and have, a, have some time off the bench with, with the minimum preparation. But he, he's a, he's a line-out leader, so he's pretty good in that area. So um, I'm sure he'll pick it all up quickly. I'm a huge fan. But the Argentinians always have been, you know. They've had a long association with many of their players and the way they play rugby and the spirit that they play rugby in. But, but at the end of the day, my, my, uh, my focus is on the, the Wallaby players and how we play. Um, that's the dynamic that goes on every time you, you play football. What you do impacts what the opposition does. And, and um, we've got to have a really good work ethic communicate well, solve problems on the run, which we've been doing really well over the last couple of weeks around, you know, some of the noise from the outside and on the field. And with guys inside of the team standing up and being heard and then make it happen on Saturday. So, yeah, whatever I think about them is pretty irrelevant at the end of the day. It's, it's how I prepare our guys. It's important.